Using the technique that comes originally from Chef Jose Andres, today I'm showing you how to make encapsulated olive oil. To start off, you'll need some isomalt. Isomalt is a sugar substitute that resists crystallization really well and it's not as affected by moisture as regular sugar. Because of this, it's what's typically used in sugar sculpture and sugar blowing, so that's what we'll be using today. Get your isomalt into a pot and you can heat it just as it is, but I like to add just a tiny touch of water until it looks like damp sand just to help it heat through evenly. Make sure you have a thermometer handy and cook this on medium low until it reaches 330 degrees Fahrenheit or 165 Celsius. Then remove this from the heat and set aside to cool. While this is cooling, I'm going to place some olive oil into a squeeze bottle and lay out a silicone mat or a sill pad. Once the isomalt has come down to 285 degrees Fahrenheit or 140 degrees Celsius, grab a round metal cutter and dip it into the pot and gently pull up so that there's a clear, thin layer of the isomalt across the base. Then immediately take your squeeze bottle and pour some olive oil into the mold. The isomalt will encapsulate the olive oil and drop onto your silicone mat. To get the long tail effect, let the isomalt drag downwards and slowly pull your hand up, giving the isomalt time to cool in place. If you want your candies to be perfectly round, you can drop them into a bowl of cold olive oil, but I don't mind mine having a flat base. So before I smash one of those open, I just want to take a minute to thank Skillshare for sponsoring today's video. Skillshare offers creative classes designed for real life and all the circumstances that come with it. These lessons can help you stay inspired, express yourself, and introduce you to a community of millions of like-minded creatives. With such a hugely supportive community, it's great to be able to tap into the support of fellow creatives who provide encouragement, communication, and inspiration. As you may know, the logo for Chef Studio is a lemon, so I've been trying to grow lemon trees from seed over the last few weeks. I'm a notorious plant killer, so one class I've really been enjoying and finding helpful is called Happy House Plants, Caring for Your Plants, Learn with the Sill. Christopher Satch, who's the resident botanist for the Sill in New York City, teaches you everything you need to know to pot and care for your plants so that they live long, healthy lives. So fingers crossed, with Chris's help, my little lemon seedlings will grow to be trees. Whether you're interested in gardening, writing, art, design, wellness, or productivity, there are thousands of classes like these on a range of different subjects available on Skillshare. If you're interested, the first thousand of my subscribers to click the link in the description box below will get two free months of premium membership so that you can explore your creativity at home. If you like this video and want to see more content like this, consider subscribing and feel free to connect with me on Instagram at chefstudio underscore.